Hi, my name is Dr. Bjorn Herpes and I'm a clinical microbiologist here at the Regional Public Health Laboratory in Haarlem, the Netherlands. And today I'm going to tell you about bacteria and not the usual things you know about bacteria, how they cause infections and how we treat them with antibiotics, for example, in the hospital. But I'm going to tell you about bacteria that are actually good and beneficial for your health. Um, how they live together in something that's called the skin microbiome and why it is important to be mindful about these good bacteria in order to keep the skin microbiome balanced and the skin healthy. And um, the first question then is, what is the skin microbiome and why is it important? Well, to understand what the skin microbiome is, first we have to realize that our body houses trillions of different microorganisms, bacteria and fungi. And actually most of these uh, bacteria are good and play a role in our health. For example, in the gut, they help digest food and produce vitamins. But also our skin houses uh, many different kinds of bacteria. And together, these bacteria form a community, a complex ecosystem that works together with the skin cells in order to keep your skin healthy. For example, the microbiome stimulates the skin to regenerate itself when there's a wound, so it helps in wound healing. And also the skin microbiome plays an important role in educating and training your immune system. Um, and the skin microbiome is able to fight off bad bacteria that can cause infections of the skin. So if we know how important the skin microbiome is in uh, defending your skin against aggressive uh, factors like allergens and pathogenic bacteria, then you can imagine that disrupting the skin microbiome may lead to problems. For example, in the last year, you may have noticed that using hand sanitizers containing alcohol frequently um, has led to skin problems of the hand. For example, uh, the skin may have become very dehydrated and uh, this dehydrated skin uh, was more prone to um, uh, irritation. Uh, this could have been um, irritation in the form of itch or painful hands, but also in the form of redness or even small infections um, there where the skin was broken. And uh, this arises when bad bacteria get the overhand on the skin. By using these uh, hand sanitizers, you not only kill the coronavirus, but you also disrupt the microbiome because these hand alcohols also kill the good bacteria. And when you do this too frequently, this may um, uh, give bad bacteria the chance to overgrow your skin. And these bad bacteria actually can ignite this inflammatory reaction or even cause infections when the skin is broken. So how should we deal with this? Well, um, of course, it is important uh, to use hand sanitizers uh, in order to stop this corona pandemic. Um, but after um, uh, cleansing your hands, it is important to moisturize them again. So the, the pH, balance, pH balance is restored again um, and uh, the skin is moisturized again. And this gives the microbiome the chance to restore, restore itself. Um, um, so it is important when you use hand sanitizers, you also use a moisturizer to, to, to treat your hands. And um, these insights in how the microbiome plays a role in healthy skin has also led to insights in how the microbiome plays a role in certain inflammatory skin conditions, skin conditions that are characterized by inflammation. Um, uh, symptoms like redness or itch or painful skin or infected postules, uh, swellings and bumps. Um, those are all inflammatory um, uh, symptoms that um, can uh, be seen in skin conditions like, for example, atopic dermatitis or eczema. 
eczema uh, is characterized by a skin barrier dysfunction. And this makes the skin more prone to triggers that ignite an overshoot of the immune system. And this overshoot is the typical inflammation seen with e eczema. So the redness, the swelling, um, and the, the typical itch that leads to scratching, that leads to itch again in, in this visual vicious uh, itching and scratching cycle that you may recognize uh, keeping you uh, out, out, of the, out of your sleep at night. And especially with children, uh, this is very cumbersome. And I think uh, parents will recognize this, um, that, 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 that this itch can be nerve wracking. Um, and and uh, actually, uh, in recent years, we have learned that the actual trigger igniting this inflammatory response in atopic dermatitis actually is a bad bacterium called Staphylococcus aureus. So in eczema, we see a disruption of the microbiome just prior to a flare up of eczema, just prior to a flare of inflammation uh, and itch we see that the skin microbiome diversity goes down. So the good bacteria, they are suppressed and this bad bacterium Staphylococcus aureus um, seizes uh, the, the, the overhand, it, it overgrows the skin. And in fact, this Staphylococcus aureus bacterium can be found in 70% of, uh, uh, of the skin of all patients suffering from eczema. And, um, uh, during these flares, this Staphylococcus aureus bacterium is the most dominant bacterial species on the uh, inflamed skin. Um, so this insight in, in um, how these bacteria play a role in igniting this inflammatory response has also led to new insights in how to deal with uh, inflammatory skin conditions. And eczema is not the only uh, inflammatory skin condition where this Staphylococcus aureus bacterium plays a pivotal role in triggering the symptoms. Also in acne and rosacea, for example, which is characterized by a facial redness and an irritated and itchy skin and maybe even, even pustules and bumps uh, on the cheeks and the nose, um, um, also, in these conditions, Staph aureus bacteria um, can further aggravate the symptoms. Staph aureus is not the root cause of acne and rosacea, but if you suffer from acne or rosacea, these Staph aureus bacteria can super infect uh, the skin and super infect the, um, the pustules or the, the pimples, leading to these typical inflamed pustules which are swollen and which are fierce red and can be very painful. So if we know that this Staph aureus bacterium plays an important role in igniting the inflammatory response and the inflammatory symptoms in your skin condition, how should we go about and treat the skin condition? Well, first of all, it is important to acknowledge that it is very hard to find the right products for your skin. We know that on average, uh, people spend more than 600 pounds and try over 20 products to find the, the products that, that, that fit their skin and actually help them. Um, so this can be a very cumbersome search for the right products. Um, and there are uh, uh, some misconceptions about how to go about uh, your, your skin condition. Um, for example, uh, with acne, uh, many people still think that it is good to use harsh cleansers to clean the acne uh, uh, on the skin with alcohols, for example. But um, this may only lead to dehydrated skin and a disrupted microbiome. So. Um, um, in general, you can use some, 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 uh, in general, there is some advice how to go about and find the right products. For example, um, be mindful about what you put on your skin. So don't use harsh chemicals or alcohols or soaps 
um, to clean your skin because they uh, dehydrate the skin and uh, they not only kill the bad bacteria but, but kill the good ones as well. So try to use a gentle cleanser and also try to incorporate your, um, your daily skin routine in uh, all the other daily routines. So if you use a gentle cleanser, then use uh, a moisturizer. Um, and especially in atopic dermatitis, it's very important to use a moisturizer uh, in order to prevent the skin from dehydrating and becoming more prone to, to, to triggers. Uh, but, but also when you have cleansed the, your facial skin uh, in rosacea and acne, um, uh, use uh, a moisturizer that fits your skin type. Um, and then try to figure out whether Staph aureus actually plays a role in your skin condition. Um, so how could you recognize whether this bad bacteria plays a role? Well, Staphylococcus aureus is the main cause of all skin infections. Um, and it can ignite this inflammation, these inflammatory signs. So if you suffer from a skin condition where inflammation plays an important role, so where there is uh, redness, where there is itch or a painful skin, um, or where you have pimples that become super infected uh, and become uh, uh, painful uh, red pustules, then there's a good chance that Staphylococcus aureus plays a role in your skin condition. And of course, if you suffer from eczema, also there's a very good chance that Staphylococcus aureus plays a role in the flares you, you, you uh, suffer with. Um, so if this is the case, in your skin condition and Staphylococcus aureus might play a role, then you could uh, try and use products that specifically only target these bad bacteria while leaving the good bacteria unharmed. And in order to do so, the uh, Dutch biotech company Microbios has developed uh, skin products called Glad Skin that contain an active ingredient that only targets the bad bacteria uh, and leave the good ones unharmed. And this uh, active ingredient is called Staph Effect. And here at our laboratory, we have done a lot of research on Staph Effect in inflammatory skin conditions and how Staph Effect kills Staphylococcus aureus bacteria. And this is a very unique technology. It's very different from antibiotics. Um, Staph Effect is a so-called endolysin. Uh, an enzyme that only targets Staphylococcus aureus and kills it while leaving all the other bacteria unharmed because it targets and binds only to Staphylococcus aureus, which is very different from antibiotics that do not distinguish between bad and good bacteria. And also because these endolysins, this Staph effect, does not induce bacterial resistance like antibiotics do, they are um, uh, suitable for daily use. So if you have ever used antibiotics, for example, for acne, you may have noticed that after a while, after a couple of months, these antibiotics stop working. And this is because the bacteria become resistant to the antibiotic and thereby the antibiotic loses its effectivity. And that's why antibiotics are not suitable for long-term daily maintenance therapy. Um, with Staph Effect and the Gladskin products, um, because it has a totally different working mechanism than antibiotics, um, the bacteria cannot become resistant to it. And we've tested this, this here at the lab by um, exposing uh, bacteria to cycles of treatment with Staph Effect. And when you expose these bacteria over and over again to, for example, antibiotics, bacteria eventually will become resistant to the antibiotic. But when we expose bacteria, the Staphylococcus aureus bacterium, um, to Staph Effect uh, over and over again, even if we do this for, uh, for a month on a stretch, we do not see resistance emerging. Uh, and this is because uh, Staph Effect 
um, acts on the cell wall of the bacteria, uh, on the outside of the bacteria, where the bacterium cannot change uh, its outside. So the target always is present on the bacterium, and that's why uh, these staph effect molecules always are able to kill this bacterium. And because the staph effect molecules only target this specific target on the Staph aureus bacterium, which is not present on other bacteria, other bacteria remain unharmed. So this is the first um, technology that is able to, to um, intervene in the microbiome by only killing the bad bacteria um, and restoring the, the, the microbiome balance again. And this is a very unique technology that is only present in these GLADSKIN products. So um, this means that with GLADSKIN and with staph effect, we now have a new way of dealing with inflammatory skin conditions. So usually we treated uh, these skin conditions by moisturizing the skin and making the skin less prone to, to uh, irritative factors or by using corticosteroids uh, in eczema, for example, to suppress the overshoot of inflammation. But now that we know that the Staph aureus bacteria actually are the trigger of inflammation, we, with Staph effect, we can target this bad bacterium uh, on a daily basis, um, uh, making it um, part of the daily routine of our skincare. So as these GLADSKIN products contain an active ingredient that only targets the bad bacteria, and these products do not contain alcohols or antibiotics or corticosteroids, the GLADSKIN products are very suitable to use on a daily basis as a maintenance routine um, for your inflammatory skin conditions. Um, and this is very different from other products like uh, corticosteroids or antibiotics that are less suitable to be used over a prolonged period of time. So in summary, I have told you about uh, the different bacteria on your skin called the skin microbiome and why it is important to have a balanced skin microbiome uh, for your skin to be in good health. And I've also talked about when the skin microbiome becomes disrupted and certain bacterial species called uh, Staphylococcus aureus is uh, the, the, the dominating bacterial species overgrowing all the other bacteria. This can give rise to inflammatory symptoms like redness and itch and infected pustules. And I've talked about skin routines uh, that can help you moisturize the skin, but targeting these bad Staph aureus bacteria as well. And if you want to find out more about Staph aureus, uh, if you want to find more uh, about uh, Staph effect and uh, the GLADSKIN products, um, then you can find this at uh, gladskin.co.uk. Um, where you not only find information on the products that contain the staph effect molecule, but also about um, mild cleansers that are compatible with the activity of the staph effect molecule. But you can also find reviews of other sufferers with uh, inflammatory skin conditions and how they have used glad skin in order to to keep the symptom as bay and 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 uh, how they incorporated glad skin in their daily skin routine so i hope you can find uh, information there i hope you found this uh, information useful and um, again if you want to find out more whether staph aureus plays a role in your skin condition and how you should go about with, with, um, with, with, with treating it, you can find it at gladskin.co.uk. Thank you very much.